So when I was 13 years old, I was raped. And I was leaving a playground at night. Um, it was about 7 in the evening. And there was three men that approached me. And I was with a friend, and she immediately left. She just ran the other way. Um, I was assaulted. And fearing the stigma surrounding sexual assault, I, I was afraid of what people would think if they knew what happened to me. And so I kept it a secret for three and a half years from absolutely everybody. So it was just this deep, dark, hidden story that I was trying to forget happened. I think my way of forgetting it happened was not acknowledging it at all and just moving on and keeping it a secret. I thought, you know, if I don't talk about this, then I don't have to face this. And at the time I was so young, I didn't realize that keeping it a secret has more adverse effects to your mind than you, you do believe. So I was diagnosed with PTSD, depression, and anxiety. And I kind of had to battle that every single day. I'd wake up and it would be a real, real struggle to just look at myself in the mirror and smile. So I remember thinking when I grow up, I just want to be happy. I wonder if that will happen. And so um, I just started struggling. And I got to high school. And the very first day of high school, um, I recognized someone in the hall. And it, it was one of the guys that raped me. And so I actually dropped out of high school right then and there. Um, and so instead of going to high school, um, my mom would drop me off in the morning. And I'd just walk down the street to um, the library. And I'd just sit at the library and just kind of read books. and. Ignore life, basically. And so then, at that point, um, I was like, you know what, I, I don't want to be a dropout. I can't, that can't be my life. What was it like for you to make the decision to tell your mother? I think that was the scariest day of my life. I remember thinking, what if she doesn't believe me? Um, what if she's mad at me that I've kept it a secret for three and a half years? What if she's disappointed that I didn't feel like I could tell her that? So I was more so afraid that her feelings would be hurt, that she didn't feel like I could confide in her as a mother three and a half years ago, which wasn't the case at all. It was just a matter of um, self-hatred, really. I think she started crying, to be honest, but she kind of almost was relieved because over these past three and a half years, so many people were like, your daughter's on drugs. Um, she's just not a good fit. We don't think she has like a bright future or anything like that. So I think there was obvious sadness in her heart. And with a heavy heart, she kind of she hugged me and told me that we'd get through it. And we did. We definitely got through it, but it was not easy.